Hey everybody, today we have Legend of the Blade Hunters, Tar, Dragon Rider, an infamous criminal whose violent past haunts his every move. Tar, the Dragon Rider, has legend, le learned, learned, yeah, learned, a terrible secret, sometimes I can't read, Shh. a cable of dark forces is securing to go in search of four ancient weapons known as the Rune Blades. Now, Tyre must gather a group of adventurers, some friends, some foe, to journey with him on the epic quest to uncover the Rune Blades before that power is used to usher in a new age of destruction. So begins Legend of the Blade Hunters. Some assembly required. Collect all five. They have Tyre, the Dragon Rider, the Eternal Dragon, Wingard. Balisk? Balisk? A lake demon. Org. Guard class. And King Draco. The box set. A dark prophecy. A destiny found. An epic journey to the ends of the universe. I mean world. I mean earth. This is the story of the gathering of heroes. And villains. And their quest to uncover the four mystical weapons. With powers beyond belief. Known as. The. Rune Blades. Rune Blades. Let's check this. Figure out. Check it out. Does it come with a Rune Blade? It needs to come with a Rune Blade. Okay. After I opened it and pulled this like. Pamphlet thing out. It came with this information about him. It has all this info. It's got Tire Dragon Rider, which it then tells you the same thing that was on the back, but it also tells you about the Lake Demon Bala ba Basilisk, known in folklore as the Lake Demon of the Barishan, the Northern, Northern Basilisks are large serpentine beasts that haunt the dark water lakes of the Northern Territories, said to feed on the souls of the living. It is believed these fast-moving, cold-blooded creatures are attracted to the warmth of the human spirit. Found alone or in schools of as many as 300, like the Spartans, basilics are most at home in water, but have been known to venture onto land. Their hunger is great enough. If their hunger is great enough. Then they have the internal dragon, the wind guard. If the stories of the beloved internal dragon live among the clouds, thriving in the chaos of the thunderstorm, or frolicking in the destructive forces of a hurricane, the reality, however, is much more dangerous and sinister. While any wild beast on its own, especially those on the epic scale of a dragon, may offer a cause for fear and panic. It is the fact that the particular breed is known to be the only class of dragon to be tamed by the steady hand of man, and nothing is more powerful, more destructive, than when it's under control of the hearts of and minds of the men. The mighty eternal dragon, Windguard, is a prime example of the very point, serving at the the hist of its master, the half man, half beast tyrant known as Tari the Dragon Rider, fiercely protective of one another. Tari and Wingard have a powerful bond formed in the heart of countless skirmishes. Now, as Tari is set to embark on a dangerous quest to get to discover the rune blades to the very ends of the earth, that bound will test it like nothing before. Then they have the org, their guard class. Massive brutes with tempers as short as their attention spans. Orgs live in loose tribal states made up of mainly different classes, spreading from the deserts of the southmost hemisphere to the Arctic wastelands of the far north. The growing population of both humans and orgs have led to increased tensions and incidents of direct conflict between the two races, marked by hideously deformed faces. Orgs relegated to the guard class 
are usually much slower intellectually than the rest of their species, are especially single-minded, extremely territorial, considered the watchdogs of an org community. Their guard class patrols the outlying areas of the settlement, protecting the lands against intruders and invaders. Then we have King Draco. Long ago, a great dragon empire ruled the world, led by the noble King Draco. Dragonkind brought a glorious age of harmony to the globe, but in the end, the dark seeds of treachery and greed took root, and eventually a horrible civil war led to the downfall of the dragon society and the death of the legendary king. Now, thousands of years later, the tale of King Draco reigns, and tr tragic fall may hold the final secrets needed to uncover the powerful weapons on the planet, the four mystic rune blades. Let the hunt begin. Now, after all that, we can finally unbox the action fig. Which comes with this awesome, like, dragon skull. Dragon skull helmet that he can put on his face also comes with this like dragon blade dragon blade that looks like it's made from like a dragon wing cool like metallic dragon winged that bone like bone weapon made from a like dragon bone wing Also, it comes with a stand and all these little freaking things that you got to take off. Like I said, it comes with a stand, which on the back here it says Made in China, TM 2008, TMP International Corporation, which TMP stands for Todd Mc... T and it comes with this little X, like this mountain ish looking X thing you could use to be an X but both also to like pick at rocks and climb like the, that kind of X. So here's the figure. It has this where this oh sweet this little knife blade thing actually comes out of the little pocket here pouch here that it has one in. I thought it was like going to be stuck in there, but it apparently is not. It's got like little min minotaur type hands and minotaur type feet. Has like these cool little protruding blades that come out of his fists. Kind of like Wolverine, sort of. That's kind of cool. He can put his weapons in his hands and you could also put his weapon like back here. Oh sweet, he yeah, comes with two of those pickaxe type weapons. So you can like put one in the back here and one can be on his you know, body doesn't have too much articulation per se. But he has great like sculpt thing work. And you can put that on there. Yeah, he kind of has to hold this particular blade, but you can like switch back and forth with this or this one in the back or the front. Then, of course, you can put them on the stand.
pretty cool figure of Tari from Legend of the Blade Hunters. Legend of the Blade Hunters. Tyree Dragon Rider of Legend of the Blade Hunters. Legend of the Blade Hunters. There you go. Anyway. Anyway, remember God is good. All the time. All the time, God's good. Keep on gaming. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh. Jesus loves you, Jesus God, Jesus Lord, Jesus King, Jesus Ruler of everything. I wonder if this is like, if, if yeah, I wonder, I mean, I don't know what it's from. I don't know if it's like from a video game franchise or like in comic book franchise or whatever. Or if it's one of Todd McFlowerland's own like creations because he's done a lot of that kind of stuff. Uh, Y'all know what Legend of the Blade Hunters is from? Maybe it's a video game. Maybe it's a comic book series. Maybe it's such a try to growling hung up with himself and created his own like little thing. Because he has created his own comics and his own sculpts and his own art and all kinds of stuff because he's a multi-talented guy that just can do it all plus he's a businessman and stuff anyway remember guys hey jeez remember guys good all the time all the time guys good keep on gaming Jesus loves Jesus God, Jesus Lord, Jesus King, Jesus rule of everything. Keep on collecting, like, comment, subscribe, share. And have a great, wonderful day. I got some more Todd McFarlane stuff coming up. I got it from his McFarlane Monster line. We have his version of what the monsters would look like. We have um, Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Oops. And we have Dracula. Dracula. Coming up from, of course, the McFarland Monster Line. Do the mesh. Oh man, the dragon hunter found it out in my baby. Look at it. It's like, hey baby. Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing good, princess. I'm going to protect you from the monsters. But you look like a monster yourself. Well, I am a monster. I'm not as bad as the other monsters. I'm a good monster. I'll protect you from the bad monsters. Oh, thank you, kind sir. <laughs> These monsters, like Dracula and Frankenstein, contrary to popular opinion, Frankenstein is yeah, is the doctor, the not the the Frankenstein's the doctor, not the the scientist. It's Frankenstein's not the monster. Frankenstein's supposed it's supposed to be Frankenstein's monster. <laughs> and then you have Dracula or Valid the Impaler. Once he sold his soul to the devil, he became Dracula. 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 He used to be valid in Pele. Then he sold his soul to the devil. 
and became because he wanted his woman back. Yes. But then he became Dracula and it's Frankenstein's monster. Stay tuned for the next video to watch them. Check out what's on the back here. Other monsters they had include the sea creature. I mean, you know, the sea creature from like the Universal Studios line. But this is Todd McFarlane's version of it. Um, when you think McFarlane, think monsters. This line of action figures features McFarlane toys. Unique a take on the classic horror icons. Collect all the seeks and to be a terrified. They have, um, the sea creature, the mummy, voodoo queen, and the werewolf. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Later, guys and girls. And don't be afraid of the monsters. Because, well... Humans are the real monsters. We've been doing bad stuff to each other and our own kind for years, so... Monsters... Well... They're actually... Just a reflection of humankind. We can't, we can't stand our own kind sometimes, so we create monsters. Because we just can't stand to believe how monst monsterious and mon monstrous human beings really are to other human beings. So we had to create actual monsters <laughs> to represent the bad side of mankind. There probably isn't any real monsters. Then again, there might really be monsters. Or missing links, or unknown species that we haven't discovered yet, or whatever. Anyway, what do you think? You think they're, they're, they they could exist? You know, there's a whole big field which I, I think they could exist because there's this huge big um, field of uh, zoology uh, called cryptozoology. Um, where people study uh, monsters, cryptoids, uh, and they try to, you know, investigate them and find them and discover them and, you know, that kind of stuff. And they try to, uh, they try to, you know, prove that these legends of myth and other things are like real or if they were real how did they exist or how would they have existed how would they have lived you know that kind of stuff it's an interesting field of study because apparently the world isn't crazy enough with its already crazy animals and creatures out there and human beings and weird plants and various different other things that are in the world that we have to study possible fictional creatures and of myths and legends and stuff. Yeah! Anyway, have a great day. Hope you enjoyed this video. And stay tuned for The Monsters. That's two more videos that should be coming up. Because I'll do one. Then I'll do another. Later.